In this demonstration, we are going to talk about the pending list, which is the most important process to consider when configuring for mobile responsive design. The first thing I'll do is show you where the pending list exists. If you come over here to the upper left of your builder, you'll see this plus sign icon. When you click on that plus sign icon, you'll see the insert widget panel appear. You are probably already used to navigating this panel uh, because you have been pulling in different widgets for different functionality when you've either been testing out at the builder uh, or building applications already. And if you look over to the right of this new insert widget tab, there is a pending tab. Now this pending tab is specific to each category of size. And what I mean by that is you, if you look up here in the upper right of the builder, you'll see that by default, we are on a large screen size for configuring our original default layout. You can see if I click on this middle icon, this is for medium screen sizes, which are more like a tablet. And then this small screen size is cell phone based. Each of these, primary size categories has a list of dimension dropdowns. And I do recommend looking at all of the dimension dropdowns when you are configuring for mobile responsive design. But when it comes to the pending list and what we're talking about in this tutorial, just know that each of these overarching categories, this pending list is related to that, that main category. So if I were to move something to the pending list on this dimension of the medium screen sizes, it would be in the pending list for all of these dimensions of these screen sizes. So let me tell you uh, what that actually means and show you what that actually means by giving you the demonstration. You can see that I have a map over here on the left and on the right, I have a bookmark. There are two bookmarks related to this map that are configured currently. And then there is this title text. Now this title text is set at 23 points right now. If I were to click into the tablet size, these are all the exact same widgets that I have originally configured on that large device screen size. If I click into this text, you can see it's the same text. It's named text one. It's that 23 points. If I click into the mobile cell phone size, you can see that when I click on this text frame, it's still text one and it's 23 points. So your first inclination might be to just change the size of this right now, make it smaller so that it fits here on the screen and doesn't overlap with this bookmark. But what that does, I'm gonna click back over to the original, it changes that size across all of the different screens. You can see now when I click on this text one, it's 18 points. If I go to the tablet size and click on this text one, it's 18 points. So this is where the pending list comes in. I'm going to click on this and I'm gonna move it back to 23 so that it's 23 across all of these primary screen sizes. And when I click on this text frame, an on canvas toolbar appears. And this icon that has a, a document with an eyeball, if you hover over it, it says move to the pending list. So I am going to move this text to the pending list. So now, regardless of the dimension that I choose from this dropdown, that remains in the pending list for small device screen sizes. But if I click over to my medium device screen sizes, there's nothing in the pending list and it's still the original text one. Same thing if I go to the original layout, it's still text one and it's still 23 points. There's nothing in the pending list for the large screen device categories. When I click back into my mobile size, um, now you can see the text one is there. What I have to do is come back over to the insert widget, new widget tab, scroll down to find my text and I have to pull in a new text element. And then I have to reconfigure this text element to what it will, what it should be to look better and function better with this small cell phone screen size. So I'm just going to type something in. Conservation easements information. So now we have this text frame. It's called text 37. So it's not text one anymore. It's a completely different text frame. 
and it is 18 points and it doesn't overlap with our bookmark widget anymore and everything works looks looks good. So now what I'm going to do is click into different dimensions and make sure that that 18 point works for all of those as well. And it looks pretty good on all of them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to this bookmark widget and I'm gonna now move this to the pending list because that just looked squished and the functionality that was provided by that specific template on the original screen size just doesn't look good on a mobile phone. So I moved that to the pending list and you can see over here that it's within this section one is the bookmark widget. The bookmark widget is nested within a section and I moved the entire section to the pending list because that section functionality just isn't gonna work on a cell phone size. I'm gonna come back over to new and I'm going to find that bookmark widget and I'm going to pull it in down here and I'm gonna choose this template. And I need to pull this down. It kind of positioned it in a funny place. But when I pull it down, now you can see that this list of bookmarks is going to be much better for the cell phone size. Now what I have to do is I have to come in and I have to reconfigure and add those bookmarks from the ground up. But when I save and then look into my other screen sizes, you'll see the same section template that was there originally still exists on those other screen sizes. But over on my mobile screen size, I will now have a different look and feel. It'll function the way I need it to. I have things in the pending list and I can now publish this and uh, let my end users have a better, more streamlined user experience.